Hey everyone, it's Anson here from Weekend Garage. Today I'll be showing you guys how to program your TPMS values. If you've bought new tires, 35s, 37s, or 40s, as we all know, they run on different values in terms of PSI. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to program it to the correct PSI for your tires. After the TPMS programming, as you can see, it is not red and there's no more TPMS light anymore. So tag along. I'm going to show you guys from every part that you need it can be purchased on our site to every all the technical aspects of programming will be shown in this guide. This is going to be the same for every single 2019 plus RAM, regardless if it's a 1500 all the way up to 5500. The only difference for the heavy duties 2500 and up is that your security gateway module will actually be behind the dash instead of under the dash, which I'll be showing today. So tag along for this detailed tutorial and you can get it done in under five to 10 minutes. So first off, you're gonna need a Android device, whether it be a tablet or Android phone, it'll both work. And then you're gonna need this cable and OBD reader, which is compatible with the Alpha OBD app, which we sell on our website linked in the description below. So by the way, overall, this is a better product than Taser because Taser, once you unplug it, all the settings are gone. This one, once you program it in, even if you unplug the battery and plug it back in, or if there's any resets, your programming still remains the same, such as the DRL changes or tire pressure monitor changes or speedometer changes and such. It'll all retain the settings and you can also read diagnostic codes and do a lot of other cool things, such as program the trailer brake controller right there, and whatever features the dealer can do, this can pretty much do. Now we're gonna look under the driver's side. Now that we're looking up from the driver's side footwell, we're gonna reach for these tabs right here, and pull down, as you can see, they come out really easily, and there's two of them. They come out with a quick disconnect right here. You just press down and pull out. Same for this one. Press down right here and pull up. That's the slot it goes in. Right here, there's two. Now we're gonna plug these two onto our ends right here. They only go in one way. All right, now that we have the two cables right here. All right, so now that we have these two connectors, we're gonna plug it in to our bypass. You hear that click, you know it's secured plug the other one in it only goes in one way so don't worry about reversing it now that you have made the connection your setup should look something like this you don't even have to go under here you can just put your hand under the dash and make all these connections all right so once you've got the bypass cable all hooked up we are gonna press the ignition on button until it reaches run right there now that it's on run mode you can see that it's showing that my tire pressures are low, inflate to 45 PSI. That is the standard for the Ram Rebel. So now we're gonna adjust it to 38 PSI all around for these tires. You can adjust yours to whatever your needs are for your specific tires and needs. But now we are gonna grab our phone. And then we are gonna boot up Alpha OBD. Once we're in here, let it focus. We're going to select RAM 1500 off this list, which it's already selected. And then body computer. You're going to scroll on the list. It's right here. Select control unit. You can choose whatever year yours is. If it's wrong, it'll automatically populate anyway, so it doesn't matter. So now we're going to let it attempt to connect. It's connected now. So we're gonna hit the hood button down here beside the check engine. Open hood button, hit that. Your page should look something like this. Now we're gonna hit this drop down. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Near the bottom at least. And then this one is called update pressure thresholds. So as you can see, we can change the front and back TPMS warning sensors or the warning uh, pressure two. So we're gonna change ours to 38 PSI in the front and 38 in the rear. Make sure you're doing this while the tires are cold and not after a long drive or sitting in the sun because the temperatures will vary greatly 
as you can see, we're now set to 37. Let's put it on 39. So now it's set to 38. As you can see, it's updated right away. Inflate rear tire to that PSI. So after a drive and the TPMS synchronizes to your vehicle, as you can see right there, it went from 45, now we're on 37 or 38. So it's gonna be within spec. If yours doesn't clear right away after programming, what you can do is you can go for a drive for around five minutes or so. Once the new TPMS readings have been entered into the vehicle automatically, you will see the updated values and your TPMS light will disappear and everything will go back to white. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. No more of those annoying TPMS sensors that's not synchronized to your car. And to program your tire size to synchronize with this speedometer, it was done on a, another video that you can check out on our channel. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. Let me know if you guys got any questions. Once again, all the parts are available on our website to make this job a lot easier. A single point, you can purchase everything and even ask us questions on our email, weekendgarage at gmail.com or in the comments, we'll get you answered. Anything RAM related, we will help you out. And yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching everyone. Hope you have a wonderful day.